Hello everyone. I am Wing Commander Dr. B.C. Lathe, veteran, ex-senior psychologist, Air Force Selection Board, Dehradun. Today I will talk about the importance of OIR and how to prepare for that. The first question that comes to your mind is what is the necessity of conducting OIR test when already your marks right from class 10th onwards, record of your marks is available to the board. You see, the purpose of this test, as I understand, is you people, the candidates, are coming from all over the places, from India as well as abroad. Now, you have appeared for your class 10th and 12th, maybe graduation, post-graduation, from different boards and different universities in the country and even outside the country. So all the boards and uh, universities may have different standards, different level of uh, one candidate may have come from uh, CBSE board, another candidate may, may have come from uh, ICSE board or from a state board. So we all know that there are variance in the level of the boards also. It will depend upon the difficulty level of the question paper in a particular subject, in a particular board, even in a particular year. Sometimes mass paper is very easy. Next year it is very difficult. Then some candidate may not be well at the time of giving examination. Another candidate might have had some tragedy in the family, because of it he could not perform well. So there can be so many ifs and buts, so many reasons. So it becomes very difficult for the assessor sitting there to understand the real level of the candidate. Earlier there were cases of uh, mass copying also. Now though, of course uh, it is almost nil. So, what is the level of the performance by the candidate? What is showing? Is it real? Or there were some factors with which he could not achieve good marks. So, this is the background. Now, we conduct, the SSB conducts its own test. Now, you can say, sir, at the time of this OIR also someone may not be well. Yes, it is there, it could be there. But then, at that stage, we take into consideration, the assessor takes into consideration your class 10th, 12th, graduation, whatever records are available and then match it with the OIR. If you have got 90%, 95% in class 12th and you are getting OIR 3, so it is not matching. So this way, this is another uh, aspect which is taken into consideration. So. When we conduct our own test, the SSB conducts its own test, we rely more on that. That is the reason. Now, you, your OIR is written on the top corner of your PIQ. After you fill your PIQ and you give it, submit it, then your OIR, which has been uh, taken first, your OIR test is taken. So that is written on your PIQ. This PIQ is filled in two copies. It goes, one copy goes to the psych and the other copy goes to the interviewing officer. It does not go to the GTO. So GTO does not have any record of your past performance or your academic performance or even in performance in games or sports or anything. He is observing you in your action state. But the psych is drawing a mental picture about you and that mental picture is, is, is drawn based on your OIR also. The OIR plays an important part in that. Same way your interviewing officer, he sees your OIR and then thinks in his mind that okay, what is the level of the candidate, goes through your PIQ, your performance and all that and then he decides what type of questions uh, he should ask. 
so it is playing an important role in these two places it is playing a very important role in your screening because at the time of screening no other record is available with the three assessors who, who are conducting your screening test is only the oir which is available now how to improve your oir it's not difficult you see there are so many books available in the market even e books are available you can take any of those books and start practicing now i'll give you a criteria if one test contains 50 questions and you are able to get 45 correct answers in less than 18 minutes so i think that is a good score you are likely to score oir 2 now this works out to about 20 seconds for one question so 20 seconds approximately 20 seconds or less is a good score for one question so same way if you the test contains 30 questions then you can <coughs> calculate the time that how much time you should take so standard i have given you for 50 questions test less than 18 minutes and 45 or more correct answers a slight variance may be there not 45 maybe 42 but not less than 40 same way time 18 minutes maybe 17 minutes maybe 19 minutes maybe 20 minutes but not more than that so if you are getting this uh, you have fair chances of getting your oir too so what is the relevance of oir in this screening test OIR 2 and 3 are most likely to be screened in if their performance in the PPNDT is good if your performance is good in PPNDT and you are OIR 4 there may be a doubt whether you will be screened in or not OIR 4 or 5 so OIR 1 is uh, very rare so normally we don't talk about oir 1 but yes if you have got oir 1 2 or 3 you have got fairly good chances of being screened in provided you perform very well in your ppntt test that is your uh, writing the story your narration and then your discussion part so i think uh, this will help you and please write to me in the comment section subscribe to my <coughs> channel for more video videos my aim is to help you out as much as possible this is not a something uh, commercialized thing my sincere effort is that if i can help you it is good and i have written a book also that is available on amazon and flipkart cost is around 200 rupees so you will get lot of information and input from that book also so wishing you all the best and keep waiting for my uh, new videos i hope they will benefit you that's all